Hey guys, Captain Jimmy Arnold here with American Fishing Charters out of beautiful Tybee Island, Georgia. Video is going to be a little bit longer this week. We got a, the best chef in Savannah that's going to show you how to cook what we caught. We took the skeeter all the way out to the snapper banks, about the 40, 45 mile range. Uh, and then we're going to take you back to El Coyote. And Chef Tony is going to show you how to cook everything up properly. Probably show you something you haven't seen before, guys. Uh, one thing I want to throw out there, we caught a ton of red snapper. We vented all of them, released them safely. Didn't even see one getting eaten by the man in the gray suit. Hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and uh, we'll see you on the water. Million. Doubled up. <laughs> oh, yeah, triple got it. Real, 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 real. <laughs> What we got there, Chris? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Some kind of eel, man. Now, dude, that's so weird. Little peanut snapper. with Mike, be a little tuny, not sure yet, using the uh, Lose M2 Offshore Speed Stick, Blair Wiggins Signature Series, and yep, it is a, oh, oh, it's all about it. Let's get chased. No, he's just, just a little green. Come on, baby. Guys, you can see we're just bringing this fish straight to the boat. He doesn't even have a chance. Hey guys, we're here with Chef Tony of uh, El Coyote. We were out there fishing there at the snapper banks. He's gonna show us how to make some sea bass crudo. That's correct. Got a beautiful piece of sea bass right here. Um, long, sharp knife, rag, wet rag. Uh, actually, you wipe it quite a bit so that you can uh, keep it nice and slick for when you make these slices. And to do this, you really start with a long blade from the, from the heel and just pull towards you. It looks more like a samurai sword. It does, doesn't it? It's my tuna. Salt. First thing down always. What kind of salt do you use? I usually use either uh, a Malden, which is a, a flake salt, or I use uh, kosher salt. Alright. Alright. We're going to take a basil leaf on each piece, trying to find the right size. Yeah, 
smaller ones here. Is that for presentation or taste? Tony? So what we're trying to do is like each piece is a bite. Okay. So we're trying to create a perfect package where you just grab one, you fold the ends inside and eat it. So each one of these is sort of like, um, each one of this is, is like a, a plate, basically. Awesome, awesome. So it's one single bite. And then we'll take a Serrano chili. Some super thin slices. These are actually pretty, pretty hot, so we try and make them as thin as possible. Try to just be careful at home doing that. I'm, I'm waiting to watch Tony uh, chop off the end of his finger. It there. won't happen because we've got this little system. Everybody always says this, but we, we keep uh, the blade in contact with that middle or with that uh, knuckle right there, and it never, never gets cut because it never leaves contact. Well, secret of the pro there. This is the apricot. Uh, apricot and ginger jelly, basically. Okay, do you make that in house? We do. Awesome. This is our little nod to the uh, famous flounder dish of Savannah, which was the glazed apricot flounder. Uh, and so we kind of reimagined it and did it with uh, with fluke, but now we're doing it with sea bass, of course. Uh, a little bit of black sesame. A little bit of basil oil. And red chili. Yeah. And that, folks, is how you get it done in Savannah, Georgia, when you catch sea bass with American fishing charters and come eat with Tony Seacrest, either at El Coyote, the Wild, the Raw, or his ramen bar. Come get you some of this, guys. We are brought back one of the bar jacks to the kitchen, and I'm going to make a ceviche with it. So we have some lime some Meyer lemon, some Korean chili powder, uh, shallot and cilantro, and a little bit of salt. Now we're gonna let this ceviche marinate for about five minutes, let the citric acid do its job, cook up the fish just a smidge, and we'll be ready to eat in about four and a half minutes from now. Well, we're out of the taste test here. Um, what do we got going on on this plate, Tony? So right here, we have a bar jack, a ceviche. It's a little bit of lime juice, Meyer lemon. There's some microgreens, a little avocado. Okay. So I just dump some just of this on here? right on there. Okay, I'm gonna take care for it. There you go, that's do what it. I do. <laughs> I'm a thief. Oh, I can't even get the. I don't even oh think you need a fork. Just scoop it. There you go. Mmm. Good stuff. Oh wow. Coming in. How long did that take to make? About eight minutes. That's phenomenal. That is the perfect texture. I'm actually going to take just a little piece right there raw. Mmm. Without chips. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even think. It. Yeah, I don't think you need chips with that. It just falls apart in your mouth. What, what do we got going on here? So this is the black sea bass crudo. Okay. Swallowing, sorry about that. We've got basil, serrano chili, apricot ginger, a uh, little black sesame, and some uh, basil oil. Okay. And when you eat it, just grab from one end to the other, fold it over, pop it in your mouth. I can do that. that was easy. I was about to grab a fork. We try and design all these things so you can eat it with your hands if you want. Yeah, I was going to be classy. And there's, there's no point. Well, there's no, no, point. no, 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 there's no point in that nonsense. Oh my gosh, well, you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up a second more of that. I mean, what, what, what am I trying right here, brother? This is a whole flash fried sea bass stuffed with basil and finished with a little bit of chimichurri. Okay, all right, I'm gonna start at the tail right here. Go right there. It's that piece I want? Yeah, and you want the skin too. The skin's the good oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh my gosh, good stuff? Yeah. <laughs> And this piece right here, that's yeah. a whole stalk of lemongrass that we run through there. So we have it as a handle and it, as it cooks, it steams a little bit on the inside and perfumes it a little bit. Really? Yeah. 
Well, I think you did it right. Um, I don't know what the rest of you guys are going to eat tonight, but I'm, I'm going to eat this. There's right more. Here. Oh, okay. <laughs>